And we are live. So I'm going to change the camera angle. Let me see. There we are. I'm going to move the camera. Now you should be able to see what I'm doing. So, tippet yok. Uh, interesting. <laughs> so let's start. Uh, extra small silver tinsel. So I'm just tying that one in. I backed the thread before. And I think the sound quality is going to be better today. I don't play any background music. So, a few wraps with the tinsel in the back. Just removing a bit of wax. There we are. I'm going for three turns. Just securing the tinsel. A few wraps with the tinsel underneath the hook. There we go. I'm just going to cut that. There we go. So let's go backwards again. And the hook I'm tying on is a 5 uh, my favorite one uh, from Graham Cully, handmade. So yellow silk, we are securing that one. Same here, tying it in underneath. A few wraps. So let's see how long we managed to do a live video today. Yeah, it's quite many steps on this one. So it might be a two part video, but yeah, let's see. Hey, David, how are you, buddy? So just unwinding the silk. Tight wraps backwards. Keep an eye on the chat, so don't be shy. You don't disturb me. That's the whole point with the live ones. So, just securing the silk here. And I have my glasses on today so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, yesterday's fly was a challenge. It was like, you know, <laughs> completely blurry. <laughs> and in the end, I managed to uh, take a blood sample of myself hitting the hook point, as always. But yeah, I got more. And it was very sharp, I can testify to. So. Looking good. Some contrast. So going back again with the thread. I'm just going to flatten out the area here since 
there's a bit of a bump to the silk. So I go over with the thread, building up in front of the silk. So leveling out that area. Meaning when I'm tying in the tail, it will not stand up. So I'm going to use clear wax. And the tail is a bit different on this one. It's uh, Amherst uh, topping. And I think I found one. It's more brownish, a bit red to the tone. So let's tie that one in. For that, good, perfect, David. So, a few tight wraps. I noticed the fiber that don't want to play a game with me, so I'm going to remove that now. There we are. And that is the tail. So just gonna add a few more wraps here. There we go. Cutting that one off. Now to the fun part. I did some thinking. It happens. Um, <clears throat> this is states golden piece and tippet and same as veiling so i'm gonna put it flat so you can have a look at this one so i'm gonna put it like that But to be honest with you guys, I think I'm going to put it upside down instead, like that. Then it has a better curve, because I don't want to recurve the, the feather. So, more wax. Let's go with that. There we are. So going backwards, just removing, was a bit of wax there. So time to tie this one in then. Just a small one. And I tie the whole part in. And today I'm going to make sure I look at the pattern description. Uh, <laughs> so I keep the correct colors, etc. So next step, black wool. So let's add some black wool. I have some old Berlin wool here. And when... I, I like to do quite tight uh, butts with the, the wool. So let me see what we can do here. But still you want to see it's wool. There we go. Let 
What do you guys think? I just need to remove the fiber yet again. Let me see. There we go. And you can see it's a wool head. Not too much, not too little. Um, yellow floss ribbed with oval silver. Yes, yeah, the same as uh, the York Scott then. So adding, I'm going with an extra small actually oval silver tinsel. So I'm just gonna tie it in underneath the hook. I tie the whole part in. And there we go. So half, I would say it's there. And now, let me see, yeah, David, I'm gonna use uh, this one from you. So let's have a look at it. Just gonna cut it a bit because what, what I want to do is to uh, level up the body. Somewhere like, like that. And I think I might ah, tie it in like that because now the you have different levels on the body. That's gonna be ugly. So I always try to level that out before I put the silk on. You can do the final adjustments when the, you add the silk since it's building as well. So let's start. Oh, Holland. I used to work a lot in Holland back in the days in Eindhoven and uh, yeah, another place. I don't remember the name of it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, Olof. Utrecht, that was the city's name. Yeah, took me a while to remember. <laughs> As you see, this one is uh, building quite nicely. So I don't want to do too much in the back since I'm going to turn with the silk there and then I can level up. So. Never rush a salmon fly. Always take your time tying it. So as you see, we're starting to get a better body shape. I'm not going to do too much since we're going to go over a bit of silk as well. There we are. So it's going to secure this body material. And then cut the left over. And that I save for later. So yellow silk
going to have quite a lot. So soon I need to order more. So just securing the front. I'm going to wrap backwards. There we go. Oh, just ask questions, so you know, uh, say hello, whatever. I'm not uh, that concentrated. Don't be shy. Let's have fun. So tight wraps backwards. And then I get to the back, then I go forward again. All the way to the Vul butt and then forward. One th funny thing, I've been traveling a, a lot in life since I've been working abroad since I was 20. Uh, anywhere you go, anywhere at all, in the smallest town or to the palm tree to the uh, left, you will always meet a Swedish guy and a Dutch guy. They like to travel. And there we are. So I'm just securing the silk. Normally, I always have gloves when handling silk, but yeah, not today. So I'm just gonna use a bit of force here. Just pressing down the silk, flattening. I have bump there that I don't really enjoy. You see it on the camera there. So I'm gonna add some more silk. I want it gone. Else it's gonna ruin the, the fly. So just hang this one in. There we go. Then it's good I have a big TV in front of me. Yeah, you have to come up here to, to the north, Olav. Sweden, Norway, Finland has nice river for that. So let's add some more silk here. I 
Now it's almost gone. That's a good thing, having the camera pointed at me. And then I can look at that one instead of everything else. So slowly getting there. Now it looks better. So tying in the silk again, securing it. There we go. Now saving this one. So I'm just gonna put the scissor there and a little bit of pressure. That's okay. So, tinsel time. So I'm gonna do five wraps. Something might be five and a half. Yeah. And tying that one in as well. Now the funny thing starts. Uh, so instead of two can in this pattern, we have tippets. So that means the tippet is going to lay flat like that. That's going to be interesting. So let me see how long it's going to be. Yeah, that's good. So let's start with the first one. And a small tip here. Don't rip the feathers away. Cut them instead. Then the feather will not turn as much it's easier to tie it in actually at least i think so give it a try if you want to i do that on all feathers that are tie in so now i can change to the black wax I'm just working on the stem a bit. First one in place. Time to wax the thread again. And then we have another one. I just roughly aim in the length of the feather. There we go. So 
So let's tie this one in as well. We do more vax. Then I was gonna look at the results. They're quite wide. It looks okay. So black wool, just having a look so I don't forget something. Yeah, black wool. I don't like wax thread when I'm applying wool or something, but no, that's how it is. Great, David. Then, then it becomes easier to apply them to the to the hook. And I think that's efficient. So I just securing it here. And then nothing left over of the wool there. That's how it looks. So next step is tinsel. So I'm gonna use, hmm, let me see. I'm going with small, I think. I haven't used that much, so. Now we have a lot of things to tie in. Uh, we're gonna have flat tinsel as well. There we are. And then we're gonna have a black cock hackle as you see I've, i doubled it sort of and it's easier just to uh, tie it in so you just push the fibers backwards for for each wrap so starting with the oval tinsel just securing that one So just gonna apply some pressure here. F flatten it out a bit. It's got quite thick. Yeah, I could have flattened the stems before I tied them in, but I didn't do that, so. And that's the flat tinsel. So I'm just gonna remove that out of the way. There we go. And we have the hackle. The 
before tying in the hackle, I want to add some black wax to the thread. And going backwards. I think that's sufficient. I just need to get everything out of the way. Since I need to apply the black silk. So just cleaning the table meanwhile. There we are. It's the same here. Tight wraps backwards and then forward again. I'm just gonna untwist it a bit. And I'm going to level as we go. have this long silk and then you have the bobbin holder tangling everything so I just gonna turn slightly I can see it's going to be a bit thicker in the bot uh, in the back, but not too much. That's going to look okay. It will not be a show fly, but uh, who ties a show fly live? Nobody. And I don't really attend shows anymore, anyhow. There we go. So saving that piece of black for later. Adding a bit more wax. So. There we go. Just cutting the flat tin cell. And then it's the oval tin cell's time to be placed. Just want to make sure it's in the right position. No hackles in between. Thank you. 
There we go. So, heckel time. So I'm just pushing the fibers backwards and applying it behind the oval silver tin cell so it gets some protection there. And then I'm going to finish off here with a, a few turns. That's basically it. Now I use it all. And then we just cut it off, the stem. That's how the fly look now. So, Galina. So we're just gonna prepare it. Adding some wax to the thread. And then we tie that one in as well. And adding some more wax to the thread. Oh, I'm feeling the hook is slipping. That's not funny. I didn't secure it that well. So, hopefully we can fix this hackle before. Same here, just pulling it backwards. And as you noticed, I had left quite a decent amount of uh, uh, hook behind. It's to mount the wing, all the stuff there, and then it's going to have a wool head. That's how it looks. So what I like to do is just to move the fibers a little bit on the top, give room for the middle wing and wing. I'm just gonna make it look good. There we are. So I think I'm gonna replace the hook before doing anything else. Oh, it's too much upwards. There. Oops. Sorry for playing around.
now it's secured. So what we can do now is to think about the middle wing. It's going to be Young El Cook and Tippet to start with. So I think I go with uh, adding the Young El Cook. Uh, then I build the wing, and then maybe we do part two tomorrow afternoon. Or what do you guys think? Should should I just uh, continue? So let me see. It. Getting a lot of noise in my laptop. I don't know if it's messenger, or, but I will not look at that now when I'm trying live. Uh, so this one was hard to look at. That will do. Another one. <clears throat> yeah, the same length as well. So let me see where we're going to place those. There. There. Okay, it's a... See, nice easy mate and uh, decent color as well and uh, darker ones There we are. So I mentioned before, I don't rip the sides, I just cut them. Each side. Otherwise, when you're wrapping silk or whatever, you just end up having a lot of crap in it. So let's pair this one. They were the equal length. Then we get get the good length of it as well. So I 
click on it, back to the thread and check the level. Because now we have all this hackle here. You don't want to tie it uh, towards a bump, then it will just point to the sky. No fun in that. So there we are. This how a hackle should look like all around the fly. Room for uh, the wing. And the fly gonna have a nice balance in the water. Now it's paired up. Oh, Vax, oh, almost forgot it. Yeah, it's okay. But by purpose, I'm going to pull it up a bit. Since we're going to have uh, the tippet going on it, then you want to have a bit of a volume to it. There we go. Now the tippet can be on lot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply a bit of um, varnish. Just to let that soak in and uh, yeah, play around with the wax there. Sealing it. So what I need to do later is to steam some uh, tippet because I only have really, really big ones prepared. So that's going to be a showstopper. But meanwhile, let's build some wings. Because then in tomorrow's video in the afternoon, or oh, yeah, I'm going to schedule it so you know when it's available. Then uh, we just can continue. So let's have a look at the wing. Yellow, speckled bustard, red, blue. Yellow, red, blue. Yellow, no. Okay, I'm going to. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing as well. So it's gonna put all the feathers out there. There we are. Just gonna slightly back off the camera a bit. Sorry for the disturbance there. There we are. 
yellow. So thinking out loud. I think I'm gonna go with like three. Three strands, each color. So, maybe four. Let me see, I cut it off and we count. Four. Looks like four. And then the same for the other one. Yeah, looks similar. One, two, three, four. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Let me see. Yellow. Red, blue. Yeah, I just prepare all the slips first. Then we can marry them after. the red from the other side. The funniest part time flies starts marrying wings. I just love that. Not sure if I did a video on how I do my single fiber wings and you know play with them a bit after tying like 60 70 yolk scots, <laughs> it becomes boring to do the same, yeah. So, busted. Could that be? Hmm. I wonder if. Let me see. Speckled bustard. I would assume that's Corey, not uh, Florican. What do you guys say? Let me know in the chat. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a bit of Cori, yellow Cori, and then red, blue, and Cori again. So that's why I take two sections. And I don't really wanna go with this long one. 
since you see five over hook yeah it's just insane this one is for a 10 or 12 boom so i'm gonna go with the ones down here There we go. So, time to play. Yellow speckled, then we had red blue. So it's coming together. It's going to be clean, nice one. Oops. Fiddly fingers. And then we finish off with some more Corey. One side down, done. Uh, not bad. It's gonna look good when we tie it in. So let's just build the other one. Just adding the red. Then the blue. And then Corey again. So, slowly getting there. But I feel uh, they're not the same. The cord on this side is much thinner. Let me see how, how they pair up. It's much thinner in the ends. I just want to make sure they equal thickness, so to say. Yeah. 
Yeah, but that, that looks good. Now they, yeah, I just wanna make sure it's the same length as well. Looks good to me. So that we're gonna tie in tomorrow. So uh, this is how far we got today. And I pulled up the Yeezy by purpose, otherwise it was just completely flat. Uh, since we're gonna have a tippet on the uh, on each side, so let me just change the angle. There we are. Well, yeah, that's everything for today. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I'm gonna schedule a, a session for tomorrow afternoon, um, like six, seven my time. Uh, I'm not sure if you're UK, it's one hour uh, less. So that would be five, four or five. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Now I just uh, need to end this stream here, looking at the screen so I see what I'm doing. Um, I have a big one here. So thank you, bye. Mm -hmm.